Hello friends, this is Nageshwar and welcome to my channel ITBud143. In this tutorial, I will show how to install Active Directory and DNS Server in Windows Server 2003 in step-by-step -step process. To install Active Directory, please come to Start and Administrative Tools. Here, please select Manage Your Server. In Manage Your Server, come to the Add or Remove a Role. Just click on next before that it is showing preliminary steps before continue please read this install all modems and network cards attach all necessary cables and if you plan to use this server for internet connectivity connect to the internet now and turn on all peripherals such as printers and external drives have your windows server 2003 setup cd available or know your network installation path okay after setting up all these things just click on next now it is configuring your server wizard now we came into the configuration options here you can find two options typical configuration for a first server or a custom configuration so if you select typical configuration it will install active directory and install DNS server and DHCP server simultaneously so if you choose the customer configuration you can customize your server installation by adding the roles so I'm choosing custom configuration next now it is showing the file server printer server application servers and different roles are available here so I'm selecting active directory next and just click on next now welcome to the active directory installation wizard next now it is showing the operating system compatibility okay next and it is a press installation so please select domain controller for a new domain next and please select a domain in a new forest if you are having any existable forest please select domain tree in existing forest but it is a fresh installation so I'm selecting domain in a new forest next now it is asking for the DNS name for the new domain so just type your domain name I'm choosing this and next And now it is asking for the NetBIOS domain name. Default it is giving internet. So I'm choosing default one only. Next. And it is showing the database and log folders. I will use default one. Next. And here it is showing the shared system volume. So I'm using default one. Now it is showing the DNS registration diagnostics please select second option install and configure the DNS server on this computer and set this computer to use this DNS server as its preferred DNS server okay after selecting this just click on next and now it is asking for the permissions and please select second option permissions compatible only with Windows 2000 or Windows Server 2003 operating systems and if you select the first option so permission compatible with pre windows 2000 server operating system that is windows 98 so i'm selecting second option and after that just click on next now it is asking for the restore mode password okay so this will help you in restoring your server when server under failure next now it is showing the summary next now it is installing the active directory installing DNS server here this computer has at least one dynamically assigned IP address for reliable domain name system operation you should use only one static IP address 
so you will now have the option to change this dynamically assigned IP address okay so come to the TCP IP properties I'm assigning static IP address for this server three and subnet mark after that just default gateway and I'm giving same IP address for my DNS server DN0.103 okay close it okay now it is showing the completing the active directory installation wizard finish now we have to restart our server so just restart now after the restart we came into this window here please select press ctrl alt delete now it is showing the netbias name here we need to type our password administrator password okay now the server is domain controller finish now you can find it here it is installed domain controller active directory and DNS server now you can check in run command okay come to command prompt config now it is showing the IP address 192.168.0.103 and DNS server 192.168.0.103 and default gateway is 192.168.0.1 and with this I have successfully completed Active Directory and DNS server in Windows Server 2003 I hope this video will help you in creating active director and dns server if you like this video please click on like button and please share this video with your friends and please visit my channel itboard143 to watch more latest uploaded videos and thank you friends have a nice day